How about Shaq? Yeah, Shaq's stud, man. Because he was an undrafted guy, right? And so being undrafted and working your way up and winning the Super Bowl in Denver, but you know, not being like in a prominent role, getting like an opportunity here on like a well, kind of like a prove it deal and then turning it up. He's probably like one or two in like the best pass rushing linebacker in the league. I love watching, like I, I feel like he's one of the guys I watch the most on, like when I'm watching the defense. Why not be the greatest today? Ain't no reason why. Why not be the came greatest to today? Came this far. He was playing behind Vaughn Miller. Hey, give me if they get it. All right. And he didn't get his opportunity like he wanted it. And he actually went to the Bucks, man, and led the league in sacks. Being behind guys that he's been behind, I think that made him more hungry. Shaq Barrett, second year as a buck, has recorded two sacks after coming off a Buccaneer record-breaking 19 and a half a year ago. I think the thing was just, you know, getting his opportunity. Take over this game, bro. What's that? Guys like that, they learn from the best and then apply it to become the best. He's just a special dude. I really respect his game. The guy got every tool in the book. He beat you all type of ways. Like, he don't just have a specific move that he go to. He do everything. When you get a guy like that, it's going to be hell for an offensive lineman. It's so cool, like, the way kind of he, he bends the corner. Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett sacks Mahomes, spins him around, throws him down. The ball comes loose. Nobody hurried the quarterback more than Shaq Barrett last season, but his sack total did take a hit. I felt like my season was good, but it wasn't to my standards good. The playoff run was amazing. It was exactly what I needed. Shaq sent three of the NFL's greatest quarterbacks running for their lives, and again, looked like a sack king with four in the playoffs. The Packers game, it felt like that's the way I want to play all the game. I'm supposed to be able to dominate like every game, make my presence felt every game. He sacked at the 35-yard line. Shaq Barrett got him. Those guys showed up big time in that championship game. Talking to my boy Will Golson, he was like, we was getting after them boys the first time we played. I'm like, oh, I mean, I don't feel like I did that much, so I got to make sure my presence has felt more this game than it was the first game. He is going to go down. He's sacked by Shaq Barrett again. Just started thinking about if I was a little kid, like, I would have killed for this opportunity. Like, I can't let it pass by. There's no guarantee we'll ever make it here again. So I just was trying to tap in that little kid and just start having more fun with it. And we'll always come back to me like, yeah, your presence was felt way more this game than it was last. It is finally here, Super Bowl 55. Everybody want to be in the Super Bowl. Everybody want to be us right now, man. Let's not take this opportunity for granted. Just being a playmaker out there and just trying to make things happen. Big time pressure by Shaq Barrett. Mahomes pressured, pressured. Mahomes dropping, dropping, pressured, pressured, under pressure. He's running for his life, though. For sure. It feels good to just have that success personally and uh, team-wise. If it was Tim or Patrick Mahomes out there, they probably would have been able to get something done.